So Blender users be like, why won't you bake? And I'm like, hmm? No, but I know how frustrating it can be uh, when you want to bake normals onto an object and uh, nothing happens. You get a blank image, you get a lot of uh, faulty um, error messages uh, saying this and that. Uh, so I just thought we'd go through a really quick bake of uh, we're gonna bake some normals onto a simple plane. Uh, and to start off, we will uh, get rid of the uh, standard cube and we will create a plane for us to uh, play with uh, so yeah let's use the original size of one uh, we will add a uh, something to bake from so we will take a torus we will make it a little smaller uh, we will get rid of the vertices that's that will be negative uh, normals uh, just uh, for simplicity you don't have to do that uh, don't ask why I did that, because uh, I don't know. Uh, let's make it smaller. Let's duplicate it. Let's uh, invert the Z uh, axis. Oh, shit. Um, so I press S, Z, and then minus 1 to invert it. Um, like that. I'll make it a little bigger. I will click Control A, and then apply the scale. Always good to do. Always have everything in 1-1. One, one. Uh, and we will place that slightly below the the plane. So I want this uh, plane to get the normals from this torus and this torus uh, baked onto it. So the first thing we want to gonna, gonna want to do uh, after setting up our beautiful test scene is to um, uh, we need to assign a material to this uh, this plane. Uh, we will do this here. Uh, we can call it um, bake mat, whatever doesn't matter. Uh, Second of all, we are going to need some uh, UV coordinates on this one. Uh, and since I've made it easy for myself, this is just a plane, so I will click hit U. And in edit mode, uh, with the faces selected, I hit U for uh, UV mapping, and then I'll just click unwrap. And th since it's a simple, uh, just a one polygon, it won't be a problem. If I hit control and then left arrow, I will go to, into this view. I click tab again to get back into edit mode and you can see that this is a beautiful UV unwrapping of this this particular plane. So um, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna select the material that we have uh, on our mesh, on our target mesh. Uh, we will click this little f ball here um, to get the uh, to see the node setup for this material. Uh, it's just a simple diffuse uh, with a white color that's attached to the surface, uh, a node point anchor thing. Uh, what we want to do is we want to assign a texture that this these normals are going to be baked onto. So we will create a new image in uh, inside of Blender. We don't need to import something from outside. Uh, so we go down here uh, and we click New. And it asks us about what we want to do. So we'll name this uh, target uh, bake texture, uh, bake target texture. That's fine. Uh, I want it to be 2048 times 2048. Uh, for this example, it's really overkill, but I prefer to have large source maps to to um, work with, and then you can comp compress them and make them smaller if you want to import them into a Unity engine. But it's good to have. Uh, high-res maps to work with. Uh, I'll, I'll leave it black and uh, click OK. And what it did was it created a texture for me inside of uh, Blender that I can uh, bake onto. What we need to do next is we need to uh, we need to add this texture to our material, uh, but uh, it doesn't need to be connected. So we don't need to connect the color to the uh, node. Uh, we only need to have it inside this material inside every material of this mesh it, like if you have multiple material indices uh, every material you must have that image um, linked into it so that we, uh, the way we do that is we hit shift a we get the add menu we click texture and then choose image texture and we will click this little picture and there we see our texture that we just created uh, we select that uh, the only thing that needs to happen here 
except uh, linking it in is having that node selected so you can't have this one selected this one selected this needs to be selected you see the white highlight around it and the way you select it is just you right click it that's what we need to do here so next up uh, is we want to I will hit control right arrow to go back uh, to our main view um, the baking options that we have are located in the render tab and then at the bottom at the uh, non collapsed at the collapsed uh, section called bake and what we want to bake today is we want to bake the tangent normals so we will select normal from the menu um, and we and tangent is pre-selected uh, and uh, so we're ready and we just click um, bake and now it bakes for us and we hit control left arrow to see it and what do we see oh no it's a plain empty blank image oh like all of the hundred times I've done this and uh, now it's not working why oh why yes uh, audience or viewer that is because we forgot to select what we want to bake from so we will select the uh, first torus, the second torus and then the plane. What this does is, it, it uh, if we select our plane, the latest, the last, uh, it'll create a slightly brighter uh, outline to the to the mesh, uh, which indicates that it's the active mesh. If I were to right-click uh, the torus, that would get brighter. That would mean that's the active mesh. We want the uh, the plane to be the right uh, active mesh, and then in the bake tab, uh, bake section. Uh, we will also click the checkbox selected to active. Now, let's try that again. We got all of the meshes selected, both the sources and the target, and uh, we chosen that all the selected to the active object, which is the light, uh, bright high highlighted uh, mesh, and we click bake again. And what do we get? We get almost everything that we wanted but not fully everything that we wanted and why is that you might ask uh, because you see as you see we got the normals from the torus that's underneath uh, this the, the the plane but not the little one on top even though it's selected why is that you might ask is that one not UV mapped it doesn't need to be UV mapped only thing that needs to be UV mapped is the target mesh uh, which we have uh, so why you might ask now that is where the ray distance comes into play. Uh, I'm not entirely sure of like how long this should be uh, set, uh, but what it does is it allows you to um, check on other sides of the normals than it usually would. Uh, so if you don't get all the detail that you want, this is a good attribute to play around with. So let's set this to say one. And let's try that bake again. And there we have it. So now everything is is uh, baked onto that target, and we're actually done. So uh, yeah, that's that's actually it. Uh, so we need to UV unwrap. We need to have a material assigned or multiple materials assigned. Each of those materials need to have that uh, that image an image texture uh, linked into it. That node with the image texture needs to be uh, needs to be selected with the right click. Uh, you need to have the actual target mesh uh, marked as as the uh, active selected mesh, and you have to if you have want to bake from uh, external objects like the torsus in our case, uh, you also need to select the selected to active uh, option. Uh, so yeah, and that's actually it for this time. Uh, Guys, I want to thank you. We've reached uh, 500 plus subscribers on the channel. It warms my little heart. Uh, it makes me really happy uh, to celebrate. I bought this new uh, webcam. Um, so hopefully you can see me better. If you like this uh, video and you won't feel like uh, you want to see more when I put them up, please subscribe uh, and like, like and uh, comment if you have any questions or anything. Uh, and I will see you next time. Bye.